want to just make sure that the truth comes out as far as what happened that day and and I did what I was trained to do and it was uh, I feel very badly about what happened and feel very guilty and I'm devastated the last couple of weeks it's been very hard uh, just just feel just feel bad about what what I put the you know, public through as far as this panic is concerned. Uh, the, it was uh, at the time, you know, I was 100% sure that it was the correct decision. But uh, afterwards, we, we know what happened. When the phone call came in, someone picked up the receiver instead of hitting speakerphone so that everyone could hear the message. So, so I couldn't hear the message, the beginning of the message saying exercise, exercise, exercise. And the, you know, I heard the part, this is not a drill. And then I didn't hear exercise at all from in the message or from my coworkers up until the point where I sent the alert out you know, immediately afterwards. We find out that it was a drill, and it was, I was devastated. I think, and I still feel very badly about it. I felt uh, sick afterwards. It was like a body blow, and, uh, and at the time, I, with the information I had, I was 100% sure that it was the right decision. I did what I was trained to do. And, we tried to minimize the time of the doing the task and the, and the checklist for the missile notification. So it was a it was a fast-paced, rather chaotic uh, office at the time, and um, we uh, they were kind of rushing to things, and the energy felt different than drills previously. And we had just been doing these drills since November, so we were still pretty new to the process. And a lot of the things that the programs that we were working with were, were new. And we, as far as our training, level of training was concerned, was I think it was inadequate. You know. uh, we were changing the checklist uh, weekly. You know. The, the protocol, the step-by-step -step process. There were alterations. And there was um, so many changes, and it, it was hard for my coworkers to keep up with the changes to the protocols. And we weren't new to it, and in my opinion, I don't, I don't think that the state is equipped to do this work. I think the military and federal people should handle this, FEMA and the military. It was just very unfair and, it's, and totally false the way I was portrayed. You know, I've been an employee there eight, 11 and a half years and entrusted with a lot of things, including being a supervisor on shift. Um, um, when the state interviewed uh, everyone. I, I wasn't there. I was on sick leave since since the 16th. So that was when I provided my written statement. So to read about things in the paper about me was, was very hurtful. That's a mystery to me too. This I never was um, counsel about any mistakes. I didn't, nothing was documented or about them. I didn't sign off on anything about any kind type of drill mistakes that I made. But I read about it in the news and it was it was hurtful. It's it's very unfortunate and it's it's very hurtful to read read about uh, in the in the report and 
because I know those things aren't true, and that's part of the reason why I've come out and tried to, you know, have have the truth come out today, and I'm trying to show a different light on the whole situation because they portrayed me as, you know, something totally false. And, oh yes, it's been been hell for me uh, the last couple of weeks. And, I have been ill at sleep or eat very well and, and seeing a doctor and, and uh, you know, with the death threats and everything. Um, it's a tough, tough thing of um, trying to take it day by day, you know. Yeah, the, the system failures at the state are You know, this shines a light on the, some of those failures and lessons learned. And if anything good can come to this, it's that we've learned our lessons.